Hello, welcome. Uh, last time when we uh, had here uh, Mr. Juncker before his hearing, uh, he committed uh, to stronger lobby transparency and to make lobby transparency binding. That was very much welcome. Uh, now we learned that the EU Commission is planning to, to make that binding through an interinstitutional agreement. Unfortunately, an interinstitutional agreement uh, cannot really uh, make uh, sanctions on people outside of the institutions. But we see lots of wrong uh, uh, information in the existing systems. Uh, therefore, we see an, uh, well, an interinstitutional agreement as not the right tool in order to get through lobby transparency and good quality of the data. Are you willing uh, to revisit uh, the legal basis for this lobby transparency register and to find a tool which can really sanction uh, the ones who make uh, wrong information, give wrong information and make a true binding lobby transparency register? Interesting question. Um, you will have to let me think about this because it hadn't come to my attention. I'm pragmatic. If, if an interinstitutional agreement does not deliver the results we want, I'm willing to look at other instruments. But I want to move as fast as we can. But what I also need is a commitment of the European Parliament to do what the Commission has already done with the compulsory register and uh, applying to commissioners, members of our cabinets and DGs, and also the compulsory registration of people who want to get in touch with us. So that's what we've already done. I hope Par the European Parliament is willing to go into the same direction. I think the political will to do that is more important than the legal instruments we do to enforce it. But if, this, if an inter institutional uh, agreement would not deliver on a binding uh, 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 register, then I am open to look at other instruments that could deliver on that. Thank you. No follow-up. Sorry.